No. Yeah, I'm the cause of all of this. What kind of gangsters? You're supposed to get in the car. What's this? Um. But how do we get him inside of it? What do we got to do to get him inside of it? Really? Got any last words? Okay, we gotta do. What do we gotta do? I thought we dropped that. that you'd understand. No. What do we gotta use? It's empty. So what's the point? Yeah, I know. Why are you trying to get stabbed Maybe. over there? How do we get him into the fucking car? Okay, what's wrong with you? You should get him into it. Can I just smack him up? I can't even use anything on him. I don't think my caricature would look good there, or anywhere for that matter. I know. Maybe the bathroom, some toilet paper. Um. We're supposed to use something. I don't know what we're supposed to use, though. Don't think it would go there. Yeah, it probably doesn't. What the fuck do you want to use? Not sure what that'll do. You should. You try to use it anyway. Come on, bring it on, you big ape. Yeah. Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. Use it anyway. Not sure what that'll do. Not sure what that'll do. Of course. Um. Come on. Not sure what that'll do. You could Not use sure it anyway. So I'm just gonna go through study using everything until we get around to it. The only thing I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. Then break it over his damn head. You know what? Uh, restraints. Time is right. Pull the restraint down on kid. Come on, bring it on, you big ape. Oh, I gotta do it like that. Oh, okay. Because I tried it before and it didn't fucking do anything. I'm placing you under arrest for kidnapping, attempted murder, tax evasion, and smelling like a piece of crap. Tax evasion? Haven't you heard? The feds are practically drooling over Trixie's books. Trixie? That's what you get for killing Artie, you bastard! What? I didn't... Trixie? Artie? All right, Grandpa. My poor car. I believe I owe you an apology, Mr. Brown. Thanks to your ridiculous contraption, Hill Valley's most notorious criminal is finally headed to prison. No apologies necessary, Miss Strickland. My rocket car may have accidentally saved the day, but only because it's a completely out-of-control failure. I need a new idea. If you're willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. But first, I think we should take in a movie. All yours, Mr. Brown. I think you'll like it. It's all about a brilliant scientist with an overabundance of hubris. Whew. Come on, Einie. Let's go find Doc. I am really hoping we're coming to the end now. Does that mean we're coming to the end of it? the DeLorean, Doc. This thing's a blast. I'm absolutely sure that everything's back to normal. Totally. Kids going to jail, Emmett's going to see Frankenstein, and there's no such thing as a tanning crime family in 1986. And we remembered Einstein this time, too. 
Hill Valley crime rate at all time low. Hmm. Well, except for Grandpa necking with Trixie, I think we're ready to go back to 1986. Do you feel yourself fading out of existence? No. Then as long as your father's still born in seven years, I say, let your grandfather sow his oats. Sowing oats? Is that what's going on with you and Edna? What are you talking about? Emmett and Edna, they're gonna go see Frankenstein together. That's odd. Uh oh. And did he just God what? He just fucked something up, didn't he? I thought they were gonna go see it. Uh oh. Well, now they fucked up the the um, what is it? Time continuity. Of course. So of course they're not gonna go watch it. Why not though? They didn't explain why not. Uh oh, that wasn't good. Where'd you go, Doc? Uh oh. And what did you do now? Perhaps that's not a good thing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have an all new story for this compared to the movies or whatever storyline. But I haven't really. I've not watched anything back to the future in a very long time over 10 years I want to say maybe longer than that okay doc let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline have landed in this time father George mother Lorraine Hill Valley under citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was a re-education program what the hell please don't swear Martin it makes me uncomfortable Zero demerits until this morning. We're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is what happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Back to the future, Citizen Brown, and it looks like we are done. I'm glad that's over with. So actually, that was about a two-hour-ish, a little over two hours for the entire episode, counting my previous session that I had recorded, um, because I had to break this one up into two sessions, blah, blah, blah. I'm glad that's over with, and I'm really glad that with the new games that they really ironed out, um, how they tell their stories... Uh, so you don't sit there and constantly get stuck. Although I know sometimes when you do get stuck and take a little too long in the new games that they do give you hints. But for the most part, they made it a little bit more... Um, I, I think fluid might be the correct descriptor for it. Where if you get stuck, it's not so much um, that it holds up you know, any progress of the game. Or it doesn't take too long... On top of however long it might take. Um, so that's good. That's good. I guess really the only reason to play these older games is to observe how far they've... Or how much progress they've come in their storytelling techniques. Um, especially in these older ones. It doesn't really seem to have um, choices that affect the storyline. Uh, it seems pretty linear as far as the story goes. Aside from a few little deviations of how what you can do uh, that doesn't really seem to affect future episodes. Maybe it does. I don't think it does, though, at all whatsoever. I think it's just a straight, linear, basic-ass story that it follows. Um, 
and doesn't really have choices. Otherwise, I think it would uh, show that. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is the end of episode two, whatever it was called. I forget what it was called. And um, that means I'm going to take a break, and I'm going to come back and do episode three probably later, you know, within the next 24 hours because I've been breaking it up because it's really too fucking hot to constantly sit here and play games in here. But at least I'm going to work on stuff. So edit videos and take care of other things. So um, I don't need to drag this out for no reason at all, ever. So, uh, yeah, I hope you join me for more Back to the Future. Uh, if not that, I hope to see you around elsewhere on my channel um, with the 4,000 videos and counting that I might have now by the time this video goes up. Um... And if not, that I would hope to see you elsewhere on YouTube because that would always be awesome too. Uh, and with that, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching my crappy shit and see you very soon here. Cool. Bye-bye. <laughs>